Welcome to Market Masterclass. We're talking about investment vehicles, and these include direct ownership, mutual funds, which are otherwise known as open-ended funds, exchange-traded funds, hedge funds, closed-ended funds, and here we're going to discuss private equity investments. This can be individuals, or it can be a pool of investors. Investing in private companies which are not listed on public stock exchanges. It, it can also include delisting of companies which were on stock market exchanges but are now private. So it tends to be very much an institutional investor industry. There are some accredited retail investors who use brokers, but institutional, the big boys, go directly to the companies. They're looking at companies which perhaps are underperforming. They're putting in a lot of cash for a very long term. Why are they putting in the cash? They're looking to develop the company. They're looking to invest new technology in the companies. They're looking to make acquisitions to help the companies. They're expanding the working capital of the company and they're bolstering and solidifying the balance sheets. So basically, they're putting money in to underperforming companies which are looking good into the future, and they're investing, again, a lot of research, a lot of time and effort, and a lot of money. This is for the big boys only. So in terms of fees, you've got uh, the investor would charge perhaps traditionally like a 2%, but also, very importantly, they sometimes take a 20% profit when they make profit for the company, they personally get 20% of the profit back to themselves. So there's a massive incentive. This has been bigger and better since the 1970s and includes such things as leverage buyouts, as I say, delisting of companies on stock markets and then they become private equities and private equity investment is, as I said, for mainly the big time institutional investors investing big money for long periods. So that's private equity. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you found it useful. Catch you next time. Bye for now.